Hello, welcome to Tactic Ted. I am Doreen, and today we're just making a buzzer game. I thought it would be easy, but trust me, I tried it, and it was a bit complex. So you can make it as complex as you want, but you can try it easily because. So let's get started with this. So please subscribe if you like the content and you'd like to see more. I am covering this practical bit. If you want the theoretical first view our channel and other videos um val makes the theoretical bits i make this practical one so hey fun stuff let's get started yeah so first i'll have to strip this wire okay then basically this will be going around it but then i'll have to make it a very small because this is too big you will easily win yeah so i think i'll start with stripping the wire So now we can make a pattern, okay, of how the game will be. I, think I had created this, but then I'll just make it smaller. It's just going around and around. Till it's so so tiny okay I think it's now almost that small and then this is what will be going around it's, it's a bit tricky because it's really shaky right now that's it and so I'm supposed to go around it without it touching anywhere okay so yeah we have that ready we have this ready now I'll just connect our wire this is what we'll be taking it to our, our power source and also the start and finish should be covered such that it will be rest at a rest position but at the same time it's not causing any uh, noisy effect so the concept of a switch is such that you have two points And whenever these two points touch, then the circuit is complete, right? Now, in our case, what will what will be acting as a switch is this and this, okay? So whenever they touch, then the circuit is complete. One side is connected to this side is connected let's say to the ground and this other one okay this big one is connected to the buzzer the buzzer which is connected to 9 volts in our case okay so whenever they touch then the circuit is complete okay and now current can flow and the buzzer makes some noise and you fail so that's the concept of the switch which is also the two wires that are actually the game itself okay so we have our breadboard the positive side is at the edge okay the positive side is connected to nine volts And oops, 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 it has expanded. And our wires, which represent our game. Okay, so it has stretched a bit, but I'll work on that later. So our wire, we have this inner one, 
okay so i'll just be calling it the inner wire and the outer one which is the big one okay so now the big one we said this acts as a switch okay so whenever the bigger one and the outer one the outer one and the inner one uh, get to contact the circuit is complete so we're going to work on that now so you have this then let's just make one rail the 9 volt rail okay the upper one is our 9 volt rail and I will connect our buzzer the positive one the positive leg to the 9 volts okay then our our other leg the ground will be connected to this leg to the outer leg okay to the outer side to the outer wire just do that now to the outer wire and then the inner wire where is the inner wire the inner wire will be connected inner wire will be connected to ground okay from our supply to ground okay so they're touching so that's why however when i take it home then it's quiet now when I start, let me start moving. When I start moving without touching, no noise, but I have touched somewhere, so there is noise. And so that's, that's now complete. That works well. The concept I already explained. Yeah. So now we proceed to now the LEDs and our switch, our actual switch. And our resistor is here. Now, the LEDs are connected. One LED, the green LED, is connected with this, such that when this is on, the green LED is on. Okay. Then the red LED is connected to this other switch. I called it a switch because of how it acts. Okay. Now, when this touch... A red LED should be on now. That's the next thing we are doing. So take your green. Let's start with this. Let's start with this. Now, this is easy because I'll just place it here. Okay, it's a switch. So the way I explained the other one is still the same concept. So take one leg. Take the ground leg. Place it to ground. And... The other leg, place it to 9 volts, such that it opens and closes that circuit. Okay. Let's see if it works. Okay, so no current. I am touching it, but nothing is happening. And then when I do that, it opens up, closes, opens, closes. So it works well. It was just that basic. Now, for us to know when it's on and off, instead of having to touch it, we're going to use our resistor. Now, this resistor will be connected to... Uh, home. Where, we, where do we connect this resistor such that? Because this same, resistors, this same resistor is what we will use for this. Okay? So I want it to be placed, let's say, centrally. So let me just place it on this leg. Okay. And then the long leg is the one connected to the resistor. Of course, I will have you, the schematic is in the description of the breadboard circuit. And so you can use that in case uh, you don't get something that I have explained. No, no, not the red one, the green one. Should, oh, this one should go okay so you remember i talked about this being 
what do we call it? 5 volts. So this will also go to 5 volts. So let me just access it from the top instead of using this. Let me access it from the top. Okay, connected to 5 volts. Then the long leg of the resistor, oh, 9 volts, sorry. The long leg of the resistor to the long leg of the resistor. And then the short leg connected to, you see where we've connected our nine our ground pin and also the switch we place that there such that whenever we open let's see if it works it's not working let me test another resistor just in case so that i don't waste much time i remember there was one that wasn't working and i have mixed them up again so let's try with this resistor okay now it works so Whenever it's on, let me just make this be quiet. Whenever it's on, it lights up, closes, lights up, closes, and so the game may begin. Okay, now the last LED is going to be connected at the same position, but now instead of the ground pin going to the source, the ground pin is going to be connected to. Let's see which is the ground pin. Huh. Let's let me just confirm it. Oh, the ground pin is going to be connected to this. What is it? The buzzer. Okay. So let's see that in work. So I'm just going to do it. Let me place it here at the bottom. I don't know if it even can be it can be seen. No. Always remember. Okay, what's happening? Okay, it's connected. And then we will take this. Let's see. Then when I touch, still not working. Again, let me change this first, just in case it's actually not working. Check. Okay, so let me just face it this direction so that you just see the action. So whenever it touches it, it lights up. And that's basically it. So now let's play one or two. Oh, before we play, we need to make it steady. So I'll, I'll just use this box. And yeah, let's see how this will be.